G'day everybody and welcome back to our playthrough of Dinkum, where we are now on episode 112. Now the previous episode we did quite a bit of road building, bridge building, bridge laying, etc, etc. Uh, but uh, we also did a lot of metal detecting and as a result of that metal detecting we have Quite a lot of stuff here in the inventory and sorry I keep hitting the wrong key for the inventory and uh, yeah I actually don't have any inventory space whatsoever to work with here so I am gonna get the day started and you know we haven't actually changed normally I uh, have a change of clothes for the next day but <laughs> uh, I am gonna get started right away here and uh, instead of doing stuff with the farm right now uh, I might actually uh, see if we can go into town first and do a whole bunch of stuff there and then come back and then do the farm work. Let's see here, we've got a whole bunch of shells that we can keep here as well. Unfortunately we don't have any shells that have reached 25 just yet. So. Uh, Hmm, the fertilizer situation is going to be a little bit rough this time around. I'm pretty sure you can also make some fertilizer using bones, if I'm not mistaken. But anyway, I think everything else we probably need to bring with us. Oh, actually these shells can go in here. Let's deal with the mail here. Something from Theo. I was hunting Jackaroo, I hope you don't mind it, but I sent you some bones. Okay. Um, well, listen, go in here. Um, yeah, that definitely seems like a pretty odd thing to send someone, but uh, I'll take it. Let's grab some of the eggs. Grab this fertilizer as well. Uh, any fertilizer that's ready? No. Okay. Um... None of the beans seem to be in harvest. I wonder how long it takes to actually get some bean harvest. But anyway, let's put that in there and yeah, let's go into town. Now the reason why I want to go into town before we actually start doing any of the heavy farming is because uh, one, we've got uh, one of the farm patches to plan for. Well, now we've got two patches to plan for. So we'll speak to Rain about buying some seeds. Uh, but also, I think today's the day that we're going to do a little bit of redecoration of the house. Uh, so we will actually do that once we come back into the farm. Ooh, my goodness. All right, we've got some wheat going on here as well. Uh, how are the onions looking? Okay, onions are looking good but not ready yet. Right. Let's see what's going on in town. No visitors for the day. There is a new task. Let's take a look at that. Investigation request. And Franklin wants this one done. That's fine. We've still got three days for the bush devil. That's good. Anything new here? Modern sunglasses. Okay. Let's check that out. I don't think we've got modern sunglasses yet. Nice. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, I feel like I have a pair of these types of sunglasses in real life. So I'll rock that and I'll rock that quite a bit. So let's chuck honey in there. And we've got ores. Ores can go here. Um, and we've got potatoes, egg, okay and we've got all this good stuff here that we managed to find buried uh, in the soil. Look at how many keys we've got, darn. Alright, and yeah just wanted to also take a look at the bright wire situation. We've got four here. I think we probably need like one or two more before we should head out to the western teletower. Um, okay, and we've got this jelly as well, and we've got another seven here, so I am actually going to see 
if this will do the trick. Nice, okay, there we go. So we're brewing something out of that jelly. I have no idea what, but... Um, yeah, well, I suppose we'll find out once it's ready. Um, cheese goes in there. Got a whole bunch more stones. Let's put that away. We can probably hang on to these... Uh, these paths and these steps. Um, got these poos. Uh, we should try and make uh, a wooden lamp out of the wooden torch. Uh, so that might be something that we should just get done right now. That way we have a spare lamp that we can just put down somewhere. Okay, so we need some palm wood fences for that. I think we've got some spares um, at the farm. So we'll need to actually go and grab that if we do want to create something. Oh, sorry, if we want to create the uh, the lamp. Um, okay, cool. Uh, nothing to sell to John, but what I am going to do is have a chat to Fletch about our permit points. Hello there, Blue. What can I do for you? Uh, let's talk about the licenses. Alright. Logging... Farming license. Here we go. Farming license level 3. Allows the holder to increase... Sorry, to access irrigation license. Unlocks a new water can recipe. Let's do it. So, iron watering can. Carries water from point A to point B. Yes, I'm guessing it'll be quite a few more... Uh... I guess... Patches? An iron hoe. Okay, interesting. And an iron scythe. Nice. A new license is available. The irrigation license. So let's take a look at that. Here it is. Ooh, and we can immediately invest in it as well. Allows the holder to craft sprinklers and water tanks. Nice. Okay. Well, <laughs> why not, right? <laughs> Irrigation license level one on ya. Sprinklers waters crops automatically. And a water tank feeds sprinklers and watering cans. Very good. Okay. Well, since we've got those two new items, let's just take a look at what's required to craft these things. So here's the watering. T uh, sorry, the water tank. Um. So we need planks, tin sheets, old contraptions, iron bars, and nails. Okay, that doesn't seem too hard at all. Um, I mean, it is an awful lot of iron bars. Um, but I guess the trouble here is that those sprinklers are not even going to work unless we've got watering tanks nearby. So just need to consider that. Okay, and the sprinklers work by by watering one tile adjacent to them. So, hmm. Yeah, okay, that's a little bit interesting. Hmm, we might have to rethink how we do all of the crops in that case, because, uh, yeah, I don't think we can have the setup that we currently have. Let's see here. We need a lot of copper, a lot of quartz. Um, and springs and gears. Okay. Well, I tell you what, guys. We will not be crafting any of those things today. <laughs> uh, because I think we should focus on a few other things. Uh, namely, I do want to actually get some of the uh, sorry, redecoration going. Because... Uh, I feel like I've been talking about that for a very long time, so we might as well get that done today. Um, sorry. Just a few things that we can probably get going here. Okay. And... You know what, we might as well get some smelting going as well, right? since we're going to need all of those bars. Okay, right. Chuck that there. Uh, 
should we be crafting a few more things to eat? Uh, that might not be such a bad idea, right? Um, okay, where is the... there it is. Okay, I'm thinking maybe we just craft some bread here. Okay, that'll give us a big boost of stamina when we need it, but perhaps maybe we should be going out and grabbing some fruit as well. Um, let's put the bread here. Okay. Let's head back to the farm. Actually, sorry, it is also important for us to buy some more seeds, because, uh, yeah, we're going to need to plant a whole bunch of stuff today. So today is going to be a whole bunch of farming and a whole bunch of, um, redecoration, I would say. And that might be the episode, guys. Uh, I don't know about sugarcane, because that's going to take a long time. Potato seeds... Mmm... I mean, we could do potato seeds if we wanted to. Let's just take a look at the green beans once more. Summer and spring. Okay. So we could do some more green beans. In fact, uh, I think maybe this will be perfect for the smaller patch. So let's do that, and then maybe we can do some sugar cane uh, as well, so... Hang on, sorry. I failed to read that, uh, but... Okay, yeah, so it does grow all year round. That's good. I was just needing to make sure, guys. <laughs> Alright, so we are buying quite a few seeds here, and one of the reasons why I'm doing that is because... I did have a suggestion the other day from someone saying that, you know, uh, rather than going back and forth to speak to Rain, you might as well keep a whole bunch of seeds ready uh, for when you actually need to, you know, replant stuff. And that is a bloody good idea. Didn't think of that. So here we are, uh, you know, um, storing all these these seeds. Actually, we should carry them with us because we're going to need to replant. Uh, but I do want the fertilizer. And... Oh, actually, where's Spike at? Ah, there he is. We haven't really fed him today, have we? So let's give him a piece of meat. Hey, boy. Hey, boy. There, there. There you go. Oh, actually, no, don't... <laughs> Don't eat the fertilizer. Um, there. Have some meat. Oh, what? Oh, okay, he, he ate it there. <laughs> That's good. So, sometimes the dog does this sort of digging uh, motion. I have no idea what that means, exactly. Can he actually find stuff for us, or...? Yeah, I'm not entirely sure. There, there. Yeah, there. Grab these flowers. Okay, um, so. I think what we'll do is we'll deal with the green beans first. The greens, green beans are going to go right here. Alright, and next we've got wheat. I think we'll go with wheat here, and then the last patch over the other side will be uh, some sugar cane. Alright, very good. And... Ooh, actually, uh, before we do that, we actually have to harvest the wheat, so we'll need the scythe for that. Yeah, and it, it'll be really interesting to see um, what the upgraded watering can and the upgraded scythe and hoe could do for us, actually. Uh, I'm just guessing that it'll be, you know, 
additional tiles that would be affected for every every action, if that makes sense. So, all right, that's looking good. And let's get these sugarcane seeds in. Good stuff. Come on, Spike. Good boy. All right, and we might as well get the watering done right now as well. Jeez, forgot about that. Uh, let's grab the watering can. Oh yeah, and, and in fact, we haven't actually done any of the farming today, right? <laughs> As I said, uh, was keen on going into the town first before we actually even get started. I should have put the wheat away. Actually, no, we just grabbed that. <sighs> yeah, a lot of things to think about all the time. All right, so let's start here. Actually, we need to go the other side. Good stuff. All right. And the wheat. All right, now I actually haven't ever seen Spike in the dog kennel itself, so I have no idea if he actually sleeps in it. Uh, and in fact, since we've got the dog collar, I have no idea what the dog kennel does. I assume it just makes him happier or something like that, <laughs> possibly. Um, but yeah, anyway, we'll leave it where it is. Maybe you can't even keep a dog unless you have the kennel. I don't know. I don't know how that works. All right. And last patch here. And after that, we should be able to get into our redecoration of the house, which uh, has been a long time coming, to be honest. We've had all of this space in the house, and uh, we haven't really done anything with it for a few episodes. So it is about bloody time. Almost forgot about the animals. Let's, uh, let's quickly do some milking and the shearing. And all of the petting as well. Good stuff. All right. Now, let's put the bucket and the shearers away and start working on the house. All right. Now, feeling a little bit sweaty here with the with the clothes that we wore yesterday. So, just going to quickly change, guys. Uh, let's see. Uh, black sneakers. Yeah, sure. Uh Cargo pants, yep. And... Red flanny, yeah, I feel like we haven't worn that in a while. And, yeah, I think that, that'll do. And let's take the beanie off. Yep, that's not a bad look. Let's put everything away here. Uh, definitely need some more storage. Now, someone was also saying that... Uh, the dresser type pieces of furniture should be able to hold clothes and you should be able to store clothes in it but I mean this is a dresser right and I haven't actually been able to access anything from this dresser it doesn't seem to have any storage oops uh, yeah see like there's no option to actually open up like storage or anything like that but uh, anyway <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll leave it be for now I'll uh, focus a little bit more on redecorating the house here so what do we want to do I think maybe it might be a good idea for us to just start off by picking everything up 
Uh, all of the storage boxes, I think we're going to have to leave there for a little bit longer. Because if we want to pick any of them up, we actually have to, um, I guess, empty them out. So that's going to be a little bit of a difficult process. But at the very least, we should leave um, all of the essentials in place here. So I think the bed is definitely essential. And then we also want the couch to be a, sort of an essential thing as well. So we want to maybe consider the entire house with those things in mind. Um, Hmm. Yeah, this is tricky, guys. <laughs> yeah, all right. Let's let's put the bed maybe around this side, and we'll sort of have the um, the wooden couch sitting. Oh, uh, I don't know. Maybe facing that way. Yeah, that's not too bad. What else do we have here? So we've got... A wooden bedside table. Yep. Now let's chuck that somewhere. Okay, that might not be too bad. And we've got the dark wooden seat, which goes very well with the sofa. Could probably leave it on that side. Yep, not bad. Small round table. Okay. And I think also we've got some furniture sitting here, right? Which might also be quite nice. Um, there's the white sofa. Yeah, actually that's not too bad. Um, although, whoops, uh, maybe what I want to do is actually put the sofa on this side against the wall. And we can then put the chair there. And did we have another similar style chair? I think we do, right? This armchair. Yeah. Hmm. Sorry, guys. I'm just going to re experiment here. But maybe if we put the wooden seat here, a stylish chair there, and the sofa there. Yeah, that doesn't look too bad at all. Okay. Um, we've got the alarm clock. I think that will just go over there on the bedside table. Okay, then we've got this white coffee table as well. I have a feeling that that might look good on this side. Ottoman. Hmm. Can we sit on the Ottoman? Doesn't look like it. Okay, yeah, that, that doesn't look too bad. Um, Alright. Now, we've got the dresser to think about as well, but we've got a few things here as well, right? Um, Eastern bedside table. Hmm, Eastern lamp. The Nordic bookshelf. 
Actually, we have two Nordic bookshelves for some reason here. Um, hmm. How did that happen? Anyway, uh, let's just see how these bookshelves stack up, if you will. Because what could be useful is if we divided the space with the bookshelves. Um, okay, so got one bookshelf there. Oh yeah, and we've got this warm Nordic seat as well, which we have to consider. Um, then there's this Rattan bookshelf. Okay. Let's grab the last bookshelf that we have here. Hmm, actually, sorry. I I think I saw this one and I didn't read it correctly, but this is the Nordic seat. I thought it was a Nordic bookshelf as well. Uh, what I'm thinking of, guys, maybe is if we get another Nordic bookshelf, we can actually put that right here and that might actually divide the space for us very nicely. Uh, and that's sort of going to be our living area, whereas this side's going to be our, our, uh, our sleeping area area if that makes sense so um, unfortunately we're not in a situation where we've got you know several rooms to work with so we can't actually you know create ourselves um, like a, a living room or a or a bedroom for example a okay, stylish lamp is this the one that stands on its own? Yes. Okay, so... I'm thinking the stylish lamp just goes somewhere here. Yeah, that doesn't look too bad. Um, the rattan lamp that could go... Hmm. Okay, doesn't seem to want to accept being on top of the table here, for whatever reason. Ooh, okay. That is actually not a bad look at all. Yeah, we'll leave it there. Um, and there's the minimalist lamp. Whoops. Uh, there it is. Let's see. And we leave it on this table. No, this one stands on its own. All right, and the dresser. I'll actually leave it here in the corner because once we do move some of our storage I, I'm thinking these are gonna go I mean this one's probably gonna stay where it is this one's gonna move here and I'm keen on moving this one here as well um, let's see the desert rose pot I think that can just go here going to quickly turn that around. Yep, that looks much better. And what else do we have? We've got a green coffee table, rattan table, eastern bedside table, eastern lamp. Uh, let's take a look at these things. Green coffee table. Yeah. That's not too bad. We maybe put the alarm clock here instead. And the rattan table. Just take a look at what that looks like. Okay, that is gigantic. 
<laughs> um, not sure about that one, guys. We might actually leave that one in here. Uh, a warm Nordic seat. The eastern lamp. So we've got two eastern lamps. Maybe we can keep another one. Oh, actually, no. So what's that one? Oh, that's the Rattan lamp. Okay, this eastern lamp, eh, not much of a fan. We can leave that there, I reckon. Um, yeah, okay, so oh, I don't really need these three, but the warm Nordic seat, we should sort of think about how we can incorporate that somewhere. Um, you know what? I think it's not a bad idea just to leave it there. So... There we go, guys. That's our house. For the time being, anyway. Uh, I feel like I've divided it okay. Unless... Maybe we might need a little bit more space here. Let's just, uh... Have a play around. Yeah, I think that is a lot better. That probably divides the space a little bit more. Yeah, okay. So, and then we'll get another Nordic bookshelf just to put right next to the Rattan lamp, as, uh, sorry, the Rattan bookshelf there. And uh, I think that'll look really, really good. Uh, surely there must be like a, an eastern bookshelf as well, right? So be keen to sort of see what that looks like, but... Yeah, okay. Definitely better if we keep it here somewhere. Alright. Not bad, I'm pretty happy with myself. Now, there's a few other decorations here as well. Uh, we've got the wooden floor, eastern floor, which we have seen before. Retro flower wall, yeah, we know what that looks like. Basic wooden wall. Ah, uh, oh, okay, this is the starting... Um, the starting one that we had. We have the basic purple rug. Um, let's check it out. Oh god, alright. Um, We'll go with the Nordic floor. <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, Alright. I think I'm pretty happy with what we've got going so far, but we should visit Melvin every now and then and uh, see what's available and maybe we can try and mix things up a little bit. Uh, what time is it? 11.40. Okay, we might have a little bit of time to do uh, a bit of a, a shuffle... Uh, uh, yeah, a, a bit of a shuffle on... Uh, all of our clothes and whatnot here and just see if we can get the storage moved so let's just put everything in our pockets okay just need a little bit more space there might actually just chuck a few things here temporarily and grab the rest of this stuff very good now let's move that crate and place that down. Very good. All right. Now we can just chuck everything back in there. Okay. Right, oh, there you go. Um, I guess we just need to move this crate over to this side. Uh, so let's just get that process started right now. Chuck a few things here. Very 
very good. And let's place... Whoops. Didn't mean to do that. Let's place that crate right there. Um, don't even need to rotate these things, right? Yep. Okay. And let's just drop all of our clothes back in there. And I think we're going to be calling it a day, guys. It's been an interesting day. I have to say, not the most productive, but, uh, you know, we did get to redecorate the house, which is extremely important, guys. I can't tell you how important this process is. We've got to love where we live, right? Um, but, uh, yeah, looking pretty stylish, not going to lie. Um, it feels like we've bought most of our stuff from Ikea, that's for sure. <laughs> Alright guys, well I hope you enjoyed this episode, leave a like, dislike, or a comment or two down below, stay true, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.